Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making the top 10 chicken recipes in the Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen Hills and every Sunday my sisters and I, we share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys. Today I'm gonna take some of my most favorite chicken recipes and put them in a video just for you. Now these are super simple recipes but they taste delicious. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. Now the first recipe I'm making is honey sesame chicken. Now this is one of the very top, most popular recipes on our website. I just converted it into the Instant Pot. So if you love honey and chicken, you're gonna love this. Now this recipe is one of our most popular ones on our website, sixsisterstuff.com. I'll link the original recipe down below for you. So we're gonna start by getting three chicken breasts right inside your Instant Pot. I like to put my chicken on the bottom. So then in a separate bowl, I'm gonna add one cup of honey. Next, you're gonna add a half a cup of soy sauce. I like to use the lower sodium soy sauce, but you can use whatever you like. Then you're gonna add one half of cup of onions. And on top of that, you're gonna add one fourth cup of ketchup. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now you can add olive oil instead if you want to. Next you're gonna add two cloves of garlic or one teaspoon of the minced garlic that you can buy in the little jars, which I love. Now you don't have to add one fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes, but I like to add it. It gives it a little bit of flavor, but don't add too much or it will be really hot. So now you're ready to mix the sauce together. Now just remember, the very bottom, or the first thing we added is the honey. So you wanna make sure that the honey is incorporated in the sauce everywhere. Now just to have a little bit more liquid, I added a fourth a cup of water, and then I'm just gonna pour it right on top of my chicken. So put the lid on, make sure that it's on sealing, then I'm gonna push manual and go up to 20 minutes. Just because the chicken is raw, it's not frozen, 20 minutes works perfectly. Now when it's all the way done, I turn the knob over to venting or a quick release so it can let out the pressure and it is all cooked and looks amazing. Now I usually let it cool down for a little bit, then I shred my chicken right inside the bowl and serve it over rice. This time I did minute rice to make my life real easy. Now the second recipe is orange chicken. Now this was an old recipe, but it is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna start with four frozen chicken breasts and then I'm gonna add a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. Next you're gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Then on top of that, I'm gonna add about a half a cup of water. Now it's time to put the lid on and we are ready to go. Just make sure your little knob is turned to sealing, not venting. Now I'm gonna push the manual button or the pressure cook button, they're the same. And because it's frozen, I'm gonna go up to 25 minutes. Now when the timer was done, I turned the little knob to let out all of the pressure. Once the pressure's out, you can go ahead and lift up your lid. Now once your chicken is all the way done cooking, go ahead and take it out of the pot and we're going to chop it up. Now you can either chop it up into pieces or you can shred it, whatever works best for you. Now when you're done cutting up all your chicken, go ahead and let it sit out. We're going to make a little slurry. So we're gonna add a fourth cup of the juice that was in your Instant Pot and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Go ahead and mix that really well so the cornstarch will dissolve in the liquid. Now when that's all mixed together, go ahead and push the saute button, then you're gonna add some more liquid. So I'm gonna add a half cup of orange juice, two thirds of this orange marmalade jam, and go ahead and mix that all together until it's well combined. On top of that, you're gonna add your cornstarch mixture and go ahead and mix everything together. Now your pot is still on saute, we want this to thicken up a little bit. Once it's thickened, go ahead and add all of your chicken back into your pot. Now with this recipe, I love to serve it on top of white rice. Up in the little corner, I'll show you how I make my rice in my Instant Pot. You can add sesame seeds or green onions on top. Number three is four ingredient salsa chicken. Most likely you have all of these ingredients in your house. You can just throw it in your Instant Pot and have a meal. First, I'm gonna start with a half a cup of water in the bottom of your Instant Pot. 
Next, I'm gonna throw in my chicken, and I threw in about five or six frozen chicken breasts. You can use thawed too if you'd like. Next, we're adding one tablespoon of chili powder, and then we're gonna add one tablespoon of cumin. And that is it. Just those four ingredients, throw everything in, put the lid on, make sure that the little knob is turned to ceiling, not venting, you want it to cook. And you're gonna push pressure cook or the manual button. And because mine is frozen, I'm gonna go up to like 24, 25 minutes, but if it's thawed, you could do about 20 and you'd be good. Now after you set the timer, it's gonna say on. That means you did it right, so go ahead and walk away, you're good to go. So when it was all done, I let it release on its own. So after the timer beeped, I let it sit there for about 10 minutes and then I turned the knob for the rest of the pressure to get out. So now that my chicken is all the way done, you can shred it either in your pot or you can take the chicken out and shred it there. It kind of depends on how I feel for the day. Sometimes it's easier to pull it out and shred it up. Now once it's all shredded, it's time to make the tacos. So I'm going to make three right here and just show you how I do it and what I like on it. Now this tacos, make sure you drain out the chicken pretty well or it will become juicy as you can see in my middle one. So I love to add corn with it, salad, sour cream, tomatoes, avocado, salsa, literally anything you want on your tacos will be delicious with these shredded chicken tacos. But these ones are for my kids, that's why there's just a little bit of ingredients, ingredients that I know they will eat. And I am happy to say that they ate them all and even went back for seconds. Number four, if you are on the keto diet, is cracked chicken. Now when my husband did keto for a little while, he loved making this. Now my kids and I love making it, but we also loved it on top of rolls too. So I'm gonna start with three frozen chicken breasts. You can use thawed if you want to, I'm doing frozen. I'm adding one cup of water on top, putting my lid on, make sure that the knob is turned to ceiling, not venting, and I'm gonna push manual. Now you can push pressure cook button if you have that kind, but this model is manual button. Now frozen, I'm gonna go up to 25 minutes to cook my frozen chicken. If you have thawed chicken, you can do 15 to 20 minutes. Now when your Instant Pot is done counting down and it beeps, go ahead and turn the knob over to venting or quick release. And then when all of the pressure's out, you can go ahead and lift the lid up. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and drain the liquid out of my pot and then I'm going to shred my chicken. Now you can shred it with forks, you can shred it with a knife. Um, these are the bear claws, I just get them on Amazon, they're called bear claws and they are my new favorite tool, I got these for Christmas. Now when you're done shredding the chicken, go ahead and put it back into your Instant Pot. Now my Instant Pot is still on warm, I didn't turn it off or anything so I can mix everything in. So you have one packet of ranch dressing, eight ounces of cream cheese. Now I cubed mine so they would melt a little bit faster. A little bit of green onions, depending on how much you like. I love green onions. And then I cooked six pieces of turkey bacon. You could use like the pre-cooked bacon, whatever bacon you like, about six pieces and then just chop them up. Now we're going to just mix this up. The chicken should still be really hot and the pot will still be warm. So you just keep stirring and the cream cheese will melt, I promise you that. Now while this cracked chicken was cooking, I cooked some egg noodles on the stove top to make my life a little bit easier. So I just put my cracked chicken on top of my egg noodles. Now if you don't want egg noodles, you can eat this just plain or on top of salad. It is so delicious and so versatile, you're gonna love it. So the next one is number five. Mexican haystacks. Now I love all the different toppings you can put on it. It makes it taste so good. And if your kids don't love the vegetables and other things that you put on, they get to pick and choose what they like to put on. So you're gonna start with three chicken breasts. Now these ones are frozen, so I'm gonna cook them a little longer. Next I'm gonna add one tablespoon of taco seasoning. And then you're gonna add a jar of your favorite salsa. It really doesn't matter the size. This is a medium sized jar. If you want more liquid and sauce, add a bigger jar. Then I just took the jar, filled it up with a half a cup of water and just dumped it right over the chicken. And that is it for the Instant Pot part. So you're gonna put your lid on, make sure that your little knob is on sealing, not venting. And you're gonna go ahead and cook it on high pressure or manual for 25 minutes because it was frozen. If it's not frozen chicken, you can do it for 20. 
When it's done, I did a quick release, so I moved the knob to venting, and I just pulled off the lid. And I like to shred my chicken right inside of my pot. So I like to put mine on rice. So I have rinsed and drained one cup of brown rice and one cup of quinoa. Now I like my rice a little bit softer, so I'm gonna add two and a half cups of water. So I put my lid back on, make sure that it's on sealing, not venting, and I'm gonna cook it for 20 minutes. I like to push manual when I do my rice. Now once my rice is done cooking, I did a quick release and I put my chicken back into my pot. So then I scooped some of the rice onto a plate so it's all ready for my Mexican haystacks. Now I'm just gonna scoop the chicken and the sauce right on to my rice. Now it's time for my favorite part, the topping. So I love to put a little bit of cheese on top. Um, here I have cut up red pepper, you can also use tomato, some lettuce, I use spinach because I love spinach, some corn, some black beans, and then some olives on top. Now, I always let my kids put their own toppings on because then they'll actually eat it. Number six, cream cheese chili. Now I know this is a soup and I know it's more for cold weather, but actually I really like to have soup sometimes in the summer or the spring because it's really fast and it's really simple and you just throw everything in and cook it. So you're gonna start with about two to three frozen chicken breasts. I'm gonna add one can of black beans, one can of corn that still has its juice in it. Next, go ahead and add one can of diced tomatoes, one little package of ranch dressing, and then go ahead and add one tablespoon of chili powder because it's chili so you need some chili powder. Next add one teaspoon of cumin and then one teaspoon of onion powder. And don't worry I'll put these measurements in the description below for you. And I just added about a half a cup of water. I just felt like it needed a little more liquid in there. You don't have to. There is enough in there but I just added it. Now I'm gonna mix it around just a little bit so all the flavors will mix in as it cooks and it is already smelling delicious. So now you're just gonna put the lid on your Instant Pot, make sure that little knob is set to sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push the manual or the pressure cook button, depending on your model, and we're going to 25 minutes because of the frozen chicken. All right, once it's done, I let it do a quick release, so that means turn it over to venting, and then once the steam's all out, go ahead and pull your lid off. Now you have a few options. You can pull your chicken out and cut it up, but I just like to shred mine right inside the pot so I don't have to dirty anything else. So these are my bear claws. They're amazing when it comes to shredding chicken. Next, I'm gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese. This is what makes your chili creamy. I kind of cut it into squares so they would melt a little faster, and then you just mix it around until all your cream cheese is all mixed in and it's not in huge chunks anymore. Now if it's taking too long to melt, you can go ahead and push the saute button. It will heat it up really quick. But once it's all mixed together, you can go ahead and serve. I love to serve it with a little bit of cheese on top. You can put cilantro on top. But I think my kids love to eat it with tortilla chips. That's their favorite thing with this soup. It would also be delicious to dip good bread into it. The next one is number seven, spicy chicken and rice bowls. Now, someone asked me the other day, what is your most favorite Instant Pot recipe? This one is probably it. Spicy chicken and rice bowls. You throw everything in, you cook it, you're done, and my kids will eat it. So I'm starting with two large chicken breasts that I cut up into bite-sized pieces. That will make it cook faster. Now I'm missing some of my footage, so I'm so sorry. So I added a can of corn with the juice, a can of beans, one cup of chicken broth, and then a small can of green chilies. Next I'm gonna add just one packet of taco seasoning. If you want it spicy, just add normal. If not, just add mild. Next add one cup of white rice. You need white. Brown takes too long to cook here. Then you're gonna add one cup of your favorite salsa and you're just going to mix this up just so that the rice is covered with the liquid. You don't want to mix everything, just try and cover that rice. When you're done with that, go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure that it's really snug and tight, 
and you're going to turn the little knob to ceiling, not venting. You can push pressure cook or the manual button, and I'm going all the way down to 10 minutes. When it's done cooking, I just flip the knob to venting, and once the pressure is all out, you can lift the lid off your Instant Pot. Now just go ahead and mix this all together. So the secret of this recipe is the toppings. Now this is good just plain or on some sort of burrito, but the toppings make it delicious. Now here I'm gonna add some cheese. I like to use the three blend cheese, like the Mexican cheese. All right, the next one is number eight, sticky chicken. Now I asked my husband to write down his favorite chicken recipe and it just happens to be sticky chicken. Now this one's a little bit different because you're not using fresh chicken, you're using a popcorn chicken, but let me tell you, after you're done cooking it, you are going to love it. All right, let's get started. So on your Instant Pot, you are gonna push the saute button. Then you're gonna take two tablespoons of soy sauce and just dump it in into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Next, you're gonna take two tablespoons of white distilled vinegar. Now I know what you're thinking, vinegar in sticky chicken, that's disgusting, but it actually makes it taste so good. So don't forget your vinegar. After that, the recipe calls for four tablespoons of ketchup. Now, it's not crucial that you have to get exactly four tablespoons, so I'm just measuring here with my eyeball. But if you like to measure exactly, it's four tablespoons. As you can see, my Instant Pot is starting to heat up from the saute button, so mix around your ketchup a little bit so it won't burn in one clump. Next, you're gonna add six tablespoons of honey. And just like the ketchup, I'm just gonna eyeball this. I don't love doing tablespoons with ketchup or honey because it makes a big mess. I like it quick and easy. So I'm just estimating about six tablespoons. But I am gonna measure the sugar. So I'm going to add four tablespoons of sugar. After you've added that, just go ahead and mix it all up. And we're going to wait until it starts to boil a little bit. That's when you know the sauce is ready. All right, it only took about two minutes to get it really nice and bubbly. Now, because I am using an Instant Pot, I'm gonna add one half cup of water just to have more liquid so it will pressurize. All right, so after I've added my water, I'm gonna add one to one and a half pounds of popcorn chicken. This is Kroger popcorn chicken. It's one of my most favorite kinds. Then you're just gonna dump it in and mix it around a little bit. Now when most of your chicken has somewhat touched the sauce, it's time to add your lid. Now just remember when you're using a pressure cooker, you want it on venting, not sealing. So I cooked this on manual for seven minutes. Then I was done, I just mixed it around a little bit. The sauce will get thicker as you wait. Then when you're done, you just take it out of the Instant Pot and you serve it on your favorite rice or quinoa or whatever you like. Number nine, this one's a little bit healthier of chicken pesto and potatoes. I love the flavor of pesto and the potatoes mixed in together. Both of those together taste amazing. We are first gonna use the saute button. So once you push the button, you wait for it to get hot, and then you add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Now once it does get hot, I like to take it out and kind of mix it around so all the hot oil goes around the whole surface of the bottom. Next I'm gonna add three chicken breasts. You can add four chicken breasts, but I feel like that's a little tight, so I'm adding three large chicken breasts. Now, now once they are kind of easy to pull off, that's the perfect time to flip them over. It's about three minutes or so on each side. Now once the other side has cooked for about three minutes and it comes off pretty easy, you're gonna add about a cup of chicken broth. I added two cups here because I just used the whole can. Next, you're going to scrub potatoes, cut them right in half. Now you don't have to stab the potatoes because they are cut in half, they won't explode. So now it's time to put your lid on. Make sure your knob is turned to ceiling and we're going to set the timer. Now, because it's on saute, you wanna push cancel to cancel the saute and then you can push pressure cook or manual and we're going to 10 minutes. Now I let it release on its own for a few minutes and then I turn the knob for a quick release. Now go ahead and open the lid when all the pressure is done releasing and your potatoes and chicken should be done perfectly. Now you can stab your potato just to make sure it is all the way cooked through. 
So I'm going to take my pot out and drain it right now so I can add my two tablespoons of pesto and about a fourth to a half cup of parmesan depending on how much you want to use. So here's the tricky part. You're going to mix very carefully and kind of just put the cheese and the pesto all over the potatoes and the chicken. This will take an extra minute or so, but once you get going, it will become pretty easy. Now I love this meal because you get a main dish, which is your chicken, and then also a side dish next to it, which are the potatoes. And it's one of the simplest, easiest recipes you can make in your Instant Pot. Now I like to add a little bit more Parmesan on top. You can also add some salt and pepper, but I feel like the pesto has a lot of flavor and so I didn't add any to my dish today. And number 10 is how to cook a whole chicken in your Instant Pot. Now whole chickens are a little easier to find right now and so this would be a perfect opportunity for you to try it. First you're gonna put your chicken right inside of the Instant Pot. Now if you noticed, my chicken is completely frozen. So if you thought it's gonna be a little bit different time compared to how I'm gonna cook it frozen, but I'll show you both. Next I'm gonna add one cup of water right on top of my chicken. Now you can season it with whatever seasonings you want, but I just really want the chicken breast so I am just cooking it this way. So make sure your knob is on sealing and you can push the meat or stew button but I'm gonna push manual or pressure cook and go all the way up to 50 minutes because it's frozen. If it's not frozen you can do 25 to 30 minutes. Now when you're done you can let it release on its own or you can do a quick release. I want to eat quick so I just flipped it on over. Once the pressure is out you can lift your lid up and your chicken should be all the way cooked through. Now my chicken was a three pound chicken. If you're doing a bigger chicken, like a four or five pound chicken, you might wanna go up to 60 minutes to make sure it's all cooked all the way through. So I pulled it out, put it on a plate so I can shred it up. Now if you want your skin to be a little crispier on the outside, you can broil it for a few minutes to make it nice and brown and crispy. Now, now I wanna show you how tender it is. The wings literally fell off in the pot. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me. Now if you want more Instant Pot recipes, make sure you check out this video right here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.